Hello everyone, my name is Doug Bassett. I'm Senior Technical Instructor here at Stormont Studios. And one of the favorite classes that I have to teach is Microsoft Exchange 2019. We have this MS200 Planning and Configuring, a message platform. And one of the things that I like about it is uh, all the day-to-day -day things that you get to do. Now, one of the things that we do on a fairly regular basis is we go in and recreate mailboxes. And there's a couple of ways that we can do this. One of the easiest ways, of course, is using the graphical user interface. So let's go in and make a mailbox. So I'll drop this down. And we'll say we want a brand new user mailbox. And you can do this with existing user accounts or you can create a brand new user account. We're gonna go ahead and use an existing user account. So this would be users that are in Active Directory that don't have mailboxes yet. So we'll go in here and I'm gonna go ahead and grab, uh, we'll grab out of uh, development, we'll grab Chase. So Chase Carpenter, and I will put in Chase's uh, alias and make sure it's all good. And I will say save. And what this is going to do is it's going to go in and look at all of the mailbox databases and it will mail enable his user account. And it didn't take that long, but if I go over into my Active Directory domain controller, so we'll pop up over there and I look at some of the organizational units that we have because you know we're breaking our systems out by organizational unit, you'll find that I have lots and lots of folks in sales who need mailboxes. So there's gotta be a little bit faster way. Well, one of the ways that we automate in, um, in Windows Server is uh, we're going to use PowerShell. However, PowerShell doesn't have Exchange modules in it, but the Exchange Management Shell that you get with Exchange 2019 does have the Exchange modules necessary for PowerShell. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and bring up the Exchange Management Shell, and we're gonna use a pipe command. Now, if you're not familiar with how pipe commands work and how PowerShell works and, and all of that, I do recommend Will Panic's PowerShell class. Um, it's really, really awesome. It shows you how to do PowerShell and all that stuff. So let me go ahead and show you this. So I'm gonna say, uh, well, I wanna get the users. So I'll say get user. And I want to do it in sales, so we'll say organizational unit, so I'll hit tab, organizational unit will be sales. And then I'm going to take the output of this command and use it into, uh, put it into an enable mailbox command. So E-N-A-B-L-E, -E, mailbox. And we're going to do this for all of sales. Now you saw how long it took for me to make one mailbox, you know, a couple seconds. But I would have to go in and click and then another click and then another click and another click. And after about 100 of these, I'll probably be kind of tired. So by going in and doing this through, uh, through PowerShell with the exchange modules, I can automate this entire process. And like I was saying, Will Panic has a class on this where he shows you how to do if-then loops. You can have all this stuff in a comma-separated value document. So if you don't even have the user account created, you can use uh, Exchange Management Shell and PowerShell to not only create the mailboxes, but also create the user account. So it's going through and just knocking them out. Uh, one of the things you're going to find in this particular exam and in day-to-day -day management is a lot more use with automation and PowerShell. I teach a lot of different classes, and one of the things that we do is we teach you how to do it with a graphical user interface and teach the concepts, but we also have links and we have the documentation, we have examples where you can do it inside of PowerShell. Because here I am making a, a lot of user account or a lot of mailboxes attached to user accounts, and I don't have to sit there, click, 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 click. So PowerShell is really a, a force multiplier. It makes it so that you can manage a whole lot of stuff without a whole lot of effort. So um, Exchange Management Shell is a great thing to learn, and I do highly recommend that if you are planning on managing Exchange, that you learn or managing anything in Microsoft, whether it's Azure or Windows Server 2016, 2019, that you do learn PowerShell and how that operates. So I hope to see you in class really soon. If you do have any questions, feel free and email me. My email address is doug.bassett at stormandlive.com. Have a nice one and uh, thanks for listening.